Hi, I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Varomed to help fight Varroa. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about this product, how it's formulated and how you use it to treat your bees. So Varomed is a formulation of formic acid and oxalic acid. In each milliliter of this product, you have five milligrams of formic acid and 44 milligrams of oxalic acid. Now this is the only product on the market that's registered to combine these two products. So oxalic acid is a well-known treatment for Varroa. When you're using oxalic acid in the UK, the, the registered product under the VMD is apibioxal, but the active ingredient is just plain old oxalic acid. And then formic acid is the acid that's used in MAX. So M-A-Q-S, Mitoway Quick Strips. This product here seeks to combine the two products together into a form that's used for trickling over your bees during the winter months. Now you can use this treatment in spring, you can use this treatment in the summer as well, and in the information leaflet, it does give you the instructions to show you how to do the repeat dosing that's required when there is brood in the colony. What I'm gonna to do today though is show you how to apply this product in the winter. And if you're doing it in the winter, it's a straightforward trickle over the bees, trying to time it when you've got a broodless period. And if you can get it when they're broodless, you only need one treatment. So here's the safety disclaimer. If you're using this product, make sure you use adequate safety equipment as an absolute minimum, eyewear and gloves. If you wanna use a respirator as well, you can. Not really that required for, due to the low formulation of formic acid in this product. Definitely though, don't get it in your eyes. Don't get it on your skin. Make sure you're wearing gloves as well. So as soon as we open this product up, I'll get my PPE on. So this product, it has measurements all the way down the outside of the bottle here. And the reason that they have those measurements is for accurate dosing. So the idea with this product is you literally take off the lid and you can just squirt it down by the seams. That's the method that I'm gonna use in today's video. But I have to say, having already used this product before, I would much prefer to use either a separate syringe or even better than that, the automatic syringe that I reviewed in a previous video. I find the automatic syringe perfectly gets it five milliliters per seam or whatever the dosage is for the product that you're using. You can calibrate it. I think this method here is a little bit more difficult to get an accurate measurement, but there's no denying it. It's a very easy and simple system because all you need is this bottle and you can go out and you can treat your colonies. So that's the reason that I'm gonna use this method in the video today to show you how quick and simple it is to use this method. Now the instruction leaflet is slightly different to some of the other products, which is done on a seam by seam basis. This version gives you a number of bees and then it gives you a total amount of product to apply to the colony. So you need to do a little bit of maths behind it and I'll help you with the maths in this video. So the recommendation on the product label and doing a little bit of research into it, it does say that it is five milliliters per seam. So it's very similar to all of the other products on the market. It's just a little bit more difficult to kind of dose that out. So what it does give you on here is dosage down to 15 milliliters and then it reverses that when you turn it around. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm probably gonna err on the side of caution. I don't wanna overdose the guys on this due to the formic acid. Don't wanna do any damage to the queen, but I'll just give you a rough indication as to how much of this product you need to use to get an accurate dosing for your colony. So just remember, you're looking at around five milliliters per seam. So do not think that you've got 10 seams in your hive if you've got 10 frames. A seam is a seam of bees. So if you've got a seam of bees that is only over half a frame, you need to use 2.5 milliliters of the product. You're using five milliliters for a full seam of bees, 2.5 milliliters for a half seam of bees, and so on and so on. So if you don't have any bees in that seam, you can just eliminate that part of the product. Don't think you've got 10 frames, so that's 10 seams, so 50 milliliters of product per hive. Definitely doesn't work like that. It's done on a seam by seam basis. Right, so let's open a colony up then and I'll show you how to apply the Varomed. Remember, eye protection and gloves, absolute minimum. Right, so the first thing you wanna do, give that bottle a really good shake and you wanna heat this up to about 25 degrees. So you don't want it going in cold. You can put it in a water bath, just get it up to temperature. I've just left it in a warm room of the house overnight. It's really nice and warm. You don't want it cold because it can shock the bees. Make sure you give it a really good shake though and it should be a kind of dirty brown color with no sediment at the bottom. Really good shake. Then you wanna open up the colony that you're gonna treat. Give it one last final shake. 
And the reason I've chosen this colony is because it's not a full size colony. It's over, only covering about half of the frames. So I'm just gonna show you how much to apply to each seam. Remember it's five milliliters per seam or a, an exact proportion of that. So if it's only half a seam, it's two and a half milliliters. So all you're doing is just trickling that directly over the bees. So once you're finished, you just put your crown board back on, put some Honey Bee Pro on this colony as well. So it is a really simple product to administer. I would say though, I do find it a little bit difficult to get the accurate dosing. And I find myself on every colony that I do it in that method, I'm a bit scared of putting too much in. I would highly recommend uh, an automatic syringe. If you're gonna be doing this year in, year out, these syringes are great. I'll pop up a link to the video review that I did of this one, but it gives you such superb accurate dosing and it means you're getting it down to maybe two or 3%, as opposed to that one where I'm scared of putting too much in. So I'll do a little bit of mic drop monitoring on that one. I'll maybe do a follow-up video to show you how effective the product is. I find though most of these products, oxalic acid trickling with apibioxal or oxyvar or the Varomed or the sublimation, if you hit them at the right time of the year, when they're broodless and you're getting all of those phoretic mites, they're all pretty similar, I think, in terms of effectiveness and it's, you, you can choose which one you want to suit your situation and to suit your budget. This product though, I think is a really good product. The bottle treats about 20 hives and it costs around 35 pounds. I bought this product with my own money from Thorns, but it's available across loads of different manufacturers within the UK and it's approved for use to combat Varroa mites by the VMD. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. As always, please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and I'll see you next time.